The Spirit of the Lord fills the whole world. Alleluia, alleluia. In him all things have their being. Alleluia, alleluia. Come, Holy Spirit, restore the lives which without you are dead. Come, Holy Spirit, kindle the hearts which without you are dull and cold. Come, Holy Spirit, enlighten the minds which without you are dark and blind. Come, Holy Spirit. Fill the church which without you is an empty shrine. Come, Holy Spirit, and teach us how to pray. Come, Holy Spirit. God shall give strength to his people. Ascribe to the Lord, you gods, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is upon the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is a powerful voice. The voice of the Lord is a voice of splendour. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar trees. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf and Mount Hermon like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord splits the flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord makes the oak trees writhe and strips the forest bare. And in the temple of the Lord all are crying glory. The Lord sits enthroned above the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forevermore. The Lord shall give strength to his people. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. God shall give strength to his people. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 15, verse 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captive and release to the prisoners, to proclaim a year of the Lord's favour and the day of vengeance for our God, to comfort all who mourn to provide for those who mourn in Zion and give them a garland instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the mantle of praise instead of a faint spirit. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We pray for the newly baptised. Hear us, O Holy Spirit. For the recently confirmed. Hear us, O Holy Spirit. For all testing their vocations. Hear us, O Holy Spirit. For all bishops, priests and deacons. Hear us, O Holy Spirit. For all ministers of word and sacrament, hear us, O Holy Spirit. For all who seek to witness to your power, hear us, O Holy Spirit. For the powerless and all who are troubled this night, hear us, O Holy Spirit. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose Spirit the whole body of the Church is governed and sanctified, hear our prayer, which we offer for all your faithful people, that they may serve you in holiness and truth to the glory of your name. Through our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Spirit of Truth lead you into all truth and give you grace to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and to proclaim the word and works of God. <laughs> 